ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a webisode. Kevin is here, and if you'll notice, I am using the wonderful and excellently underrated Windows Vista operating system, because why not? What I want to do in this video is a, an update to a video that I made a couple of years ago, which is XML Digital Signatures. Now, the code right here is reminiscent to the code that was in that video. The only real difference is I added this attributes field. Um, other than that, I can uh, put a card to the video right here and you can go back and check it out. I can also post this code so it can be easy for you to grab. So what do I want to accomplish here? Well, let me, um, let me run this code real quick and open up the signed XML. Now, here's um, something that came to, something that came across very recently was there was an implementation of a XML signature uh, application that um, I wrote a long time ago that's currently running in um, .NET 4 and the vendor had some issue with our with, with SHA-1 which you know they should Just having SHA-1 as a default um, signature method as well as a digest method is bad it should be SHA-256 so I was like okay well let me fix it and then they said, well, you, you, you can't because if you're using .NET, .NET 4.0, um, you, you have to buy some thing. And they tried to sell me some thing that was very expensive that had like a, a maintenance cost. And I was like, uh, no, this, this, you can do this with .NET 4. And uh, I'm going to show you in this video right now. And I think one of the reasons why I want to demonstrate this using Windows Vista is not only is Windows Vista freaking gorgeous and a beautiful operating system, but it's also old and completely out of support. So if I can accomplish this in an out of support operating system, then I should see absolutely no reason why I should have to pay money for an API that does this. It's really stupid. Plus, you can just go and Google it and you'll figure out how to do this. Not a problem. All right. So first things first, in the description of this video, I will have a link to a class that we have to create. Um, now again, this is a console application running in .NET Framework 4.0. So run it. Good. All right. Um, you don't have to run this in .NET 4, but this will and should work in more recent versions of .NET. So in my uh, sample application here, I, I want to create a class and I'm going to give it this name here. And again, you're going to go into the comments and get a link to this because I'm not going to go through and write this class for you. It's already written. It's already well established. Uh, basically, we are creating a class here so we can define this um, this SHA-256 algorithm at other points in the code. So I'm going to close that and I will not mention that ever again. Okay. Now, this, I have a method down here that uh, signs with certificate. This is, again, very similar to what I created in that video a long time ago. So I'm going to, instead of have sign with certificate here, I'm going to have sign with certificate. We'll call it SHA-256. All right. And then I'll just change this up here. All right. And then we'll update this method. But before I do anything, I want to uh, modify how I import this certificate. Because in order to do this in... Um, this version of .NET, I'm going to have to have a couple of flags on this certificate import because I need to have access to the private key and have it exportable. So on this next um, uh, this next parameter here, we have the X509 uh, key store flags. So let's create an X509 key store flag. The first one will be machine key set and the second will be X509 uh, exportable. All right, now if I run it like this, even though it's not gonna be 256, it still runs fine, but we're going to make some changes to this method that's gonna require that. I'm gonna just take this base code and just up, update it. So the first thing that I'm gonna have on this first line is a, um, a call here to crypto config add algorithm. And now we're going to be adding that class that we just created. So type of, and this would be the R. So this is that class that we just defined. And we are going to associate that with, and I'm going to copy this from my other screen because I don't feel like typing it in. This uh, URI right here. All right, so I run this. It works fine. Uh, I'm still going to have this document IT ID. Uh, that example that I did a while ago, I didn't have an identifier 
for the node that I'm signing. And in this case, I just have an identifier to that and a reference to that, which is a more common implementation of XML signatures. I'm gonna add this transform, this transform, so none of that's gonna be different. Um, but what I am gonna do up here is I'm going to have a RSA crypto service provider. And I'm gonna set that equal to a new instance. And in here, I'm going to have a, in the constructor, uh, new CSP parameters, 24, all right? And then key dot persists key in CSP, we'll set that to false. And then key dot from XML string. Now this is where that exportable uh, parameter is coming into play because the certificate that we pass in, we wanna get access to the private key and we want to convert that private key to an XML string. But we also wanna have access to the uh, two uh, private parameters, which is why we're gonna set this uh, method parameter to true. All right, I run this, everything's fine, even though we're not using SHA-256 yet. If I go over here, you'll see it's still SHA-1 but the code is not crashing at all. Okay, so with this reference, um, we have the URI that we're referencing, which this is kind of redundant, so I'm gonna remove that. We have the two transforms down here, so we'll, that's good, that's fine. But what I am gonna do is down here, the reference digest method will equal this URI right here. Now, if I run this, I still get a signature and you'll see that down here, this digest method is this digest method has gone from SHA-1 to SHA-256. So we're halfway there. All right. Now in the sign XML object we have here, the signing key is um, instead of the cert private key, it's going to be this key right here. All right. And we're going to set the signed info dot signature method equal to this URI right here. All right, do that, hit that. And if I run it now, I go back into here and I can see now my signature algorithm is SHA-256 and my digest method is now SHA-256. So I have successfully signed this uh, using the house algorithm SHA-256 from SHA-1 using .NET 4.0 in Windows Vista using uh, Visual Studio 2010. So I hope that this was a fun learning experience. Maybe it wasn't, maybe this is just fun for me, but here's the method. I'll post it up for anybody that's interested in using this code. Thank you so much and bye-bye.